What's up YouTube? It's Zach. Today we're gonna be working on getting the rear end ready to go. Got got some new parts in the mail today. Gonna throw those on the rear end and get it ready to go under the truck. Might even put it under the truck. I don't know how it's gonna go. If I've got help, I will. If I don't have any help, I'll have to wait till tomorrow or to wait till next week. But hopefully it goes well and let's get right into it. Okay, so first thing I got today was my 1330 yoke from Quick Performance. It's the shorter style. There's two different styles. There's the long one and then there's the shorter one. I got the shorter one because it's what it measured. So it's what I ordered. So I'm gonna change this out real quick. Hopefully it shouldn't take it shouldn't take too long. I gotta do a little bit of a, a little bit of a massage and make it fit the caps for my U joint. But it shouldn't be no big deal. And let's do it. So I'm told these greasable U-joints, like what I have here, are um, hollow, which is obvious. But I'm told they're not, they're not super good for like drag racing. So there's the fitment. Oh shoot. There's the fitment of the 1330 yoke. And I did not have to do any massaging or anything. It, it fit. I was just not holding my mouth right. So that's good. Moving on to the next phase of this installation. Wheel studs. If you've watched my other videos, you know that these wheel studs were welded in and they, they weren't right. They're also too short for what I want. So I ordered some half inch extended studs with a little bit bigger knurl on them. And now I'm gonna put those in. It shouldn't be, it should be straightforward. So make sure you're doing the correct bolt pattern before you go knocking studs in and out. You've got this multi-hole axle like. Like I said, these aren't held in here very good. This isn't gonna be, no, obviously not gonna be rocket science matching them back up either. All the other holes are clean. And it don't fit. Wow. Are you serious? Come on, dude. Six. 100% not what I ordered. All right, studs ain't gonna work. Gonna have to order new ones. Saying hell with it, putting it under there anyways, so I can get it going. So, really bummed out about it, but it happens. That.
I think that's better. That's a hell of a lot better. I had it wrong the whole time. <laughs> dumbass. Professional. Professional dumbass. Professional. Unlicensed professional dumb dumbass. Oh fuck. So like Do what? It's still light compared to what we use it. Yeah, for real. Oh, it's a baby. It's a baby. Oh, one more time. Good enough. Still had, it still had grease in it. I want to clean it off before you take it. Yeah, well. Put that Milwaukee on it. Put that Milwaukee on it. Milwaukee is the only way to go. Was drop shaft in. I was worried that it wasn't going to because I, I figured it was going to be too short. Or no, drop shaft. How, much, how much of you got sticking in your transmission up front? About the same as I had before. Mm -hmm. Everything is pretty much the same as it was before. It's just I have nine inches in my rear now than seven and a half. I had to borrow an uh, inch and a half. Good boy. Hefty boy. Hefty boy. Oh, great. I love grease. It's my favorite. Especially when it's on my freaking tools. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that might not be a good idea to go torquing down. Real hard on that, so we're gonna call the drive shaft okay for right now. Okay, here's the fit. It's obviously off the ground. Exactly what I wanted. Now, obviously, the fitment's going to be a little bit different once the brake rotor gets on there, but you get the general idea. I have to order new studs, I guess, because they sent me the knurl on the studs that I have to have is like 11 sixteenths, and they sent 5 eighths, so there is that. Uh, I've got to check my backlash on my yoke. Sorry about the sun. The drive shaft is the correct length, thank God. I don't have to send it off to have it shortened. But other than that, I'm gonna call it a day. Oops, look at her. Brake line on her. I have to order new U-bolts as well. These are, these are not gonna work. That's gonna be all for today. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you click thumbs up if you like this video which I hope you did, uh, comment, send it to your friends, whoever was wanting to do this to their truck. Like I said, maybe we can help them out. Uh, subscribe for more, because there will be more once I get some parts in. Maybe they'll be right this time. But that is all for this time. Thank you for watching, and we'll see it.